I don't have any videos yet about heat and Q equals MC delta T. So here we are. How much heat is released when 240 grams of iron cools from 90 to 25? To figure out the amount of heat that is transferred in a process, you can use the formula Q equals mass times specific heat capacity times the change in temperature. I hope it's obvious that M is for mass here. So in this case, it's just 240 grams. C stands for specific heat capacity. It's usually going to be given to you if they tell you what the substance is. Iron has a specific heat capacity of 0.452 joules for every gram heated up by one degree Celsius. That's joules per gram degree Celsius. Now, delta T is a little tougher. Delta T is equal to the final temperature minus the initial temperature, which in this case is 25 degrees Celsius, and we're going to subtract 90 degrees Celsius. That gives me negative 65 degrees Celsius, and delta T is negative because the temperature went down from 90 to 25. So I'm going to plug negative 65 degrees Celsius in here. If you're given temperatures in Kelvin, you can use those here as well. For delta T, degrees Celsius and Kelvin are the same unit. That's not true if it's regular temperature, but for the change in temperature, it happens to be true. Now oh, my sun just disappeared. 240 grams times 0.452 joules per gram degree Celsius times negative 65 gives me a value of negative 7051.2. My grams cancels with the unit of grams and my degree Celsius cancels with the unit of degree Celsius. That's why this unit for specific heat capacity works. And I'm left with joules. Now I can convert that to kilojoules by dividing by a thousand. I'm gonna take a couple digits off that as well. So I'm releasing, that's what the negative is for, 7.05 kilojoules of heat when this process occurs. It's a pretty easy formula. The more tough, although also easy, questions that you're gonna be asked are solving for either M or C or delta T. For example, what mass of water can be heated from 20 to 100 by 650 kilojoules of energy? The first thing I want to point out is that 650 kilojoules is 650,000 joules. I'm just multiplying by a thousand to get that value. To solve for mass in the equation Q equals MC delta T, you divide both sides by C and delta T. So I've derived this formula for mass. As long as I'm given an amount of energy, now we are, uh, heating water, and it's absorbing 650,000 joules. So I'm gonna plug that in with a positive sign. The specific heat capacity of water is 4.184 joules per gram degree Celsius. And my temperature is going up by 80 degrees. So that's a delta T of positive 80 degrees. If you wanna use the final minus initial formula, it's final minus initial. 100 minus 20 is 80. Cool, so we can do this on the calculator as well. 650,000 divided by, now when you're typing this into the calculator, you need to put brackets around the whole denominator. You have to say it's divided by this whole product instead of just this divided by this times this. The calculator will do this division before it does this multiplication if you don't add these brackets in there. So, can you see what I'm typing here? It's open bracket, 4.184 times 80, closed bracket. The answer here is 1941.9. Now my joules cancels with my joules, my degree Celsius cancels with my degree Celsius, and because I'm dividing by per grams, this ends up being regular grams. Now I can convert that to kilograms if I divide by 1,000. Can you tell you'll be doing that a lot in these types of questions? Yes, you can. Apparently, adding 650 kilojoules of heat can heat up 1.94 kilograms of water by 80 degrees Celsius. Strange, but true. 
And the last thing you might be asked to solve for, well, you could be asked to solve for delta t, but I have another formula for that, or I have another video for that, I should say, is that if we're adding 968 joules of energy to something, and it weighs 50 grams, and we only want to heat it by 10 degrees Celsius, what's the specific heat capacity? Well, we can solve for C in Q equals MC delta T by dividing Q by M and delta T. So, the amount of energy here is 968 joules. The mass was 50 grams, and the delta T is from 30 to 40, so that is up positive 10 degrees Celsius. Now, let's do that on the calculator. I get 968 divided by open bracket 50 times 10. That gives me 1.936, and my units here, nothing cancels, so I have joules over grams and degrees Celsius. Now, if you're given a table of specific heat capacities, like water being 4.184, and iron being whatever I said it was, 0.452, you can look through for something that's about 1.9, and then you might even be able to identify what the substance is. Now, I don't have a table with me, and I don't have any idea of what chemical in the world has this heat capacity. Um, I think it's a little close to steam, but I have nothing to prove that, so... Uh, I, I can't make any more hypotheses from this. But the point is, we calculated the specific heat capacity using Q equals MC delta T, and we just rearranged the formula. Just like we solved for mass, and just like you can solve for Q. Pretty easy. Don't mess it up. Practice makes perfect. Best of luck.